My name is Joshua Hammer, and I'm a former Newsweek magazine correspondent, now a freelance magazine writer and author based in Berlin, Germany. I'm here to talk to you about my project, Taking Timbuktu, Music, Manuscripts, and Madness at the Edge of the Sahara, a series of magazine articles, blog posts, and a book for Simon & Schuster that I've produced with the generous support of the Pulitzer Center. The project is the result of a long trip I took through Mali in January and February 2014. It examines what happened when the northern two-thirds of the country were taken over in the winter of 2012 by a coalition of Tuareg rebels and Islamists from Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. The rebels occupied the country for nearly a year until they were driven out by French forces in early 2013. My interest in Mali grew out of a trip I took there nearly 20 years earlier in 1995 while I was the Sub-Saharan Africa Bureau Chief for Newsweek. In subsequent years, I returned there frequently to write about what at the time seemed like an oasis of stability, democracy, and cultural richness in a very unstable part of the world. I got to know Abdul Qadir Hydra, a Timbuktu native who rescued and conserved tens of thousands of medieval manuscripts produced in Timbuktu between the 12th and 15th centuries. I also became friendly with Manny Ansar, a Tuareg music impresario who founded the Festival in the Desert, a sort of African Woodstock set in the dunes outside of Timbuktu. During this period, I also first saw firsthand the growth of terror in the Malian desert, which was largely uncontrolled by the very weak Malian army. And I watched the United States military try, ultimately without much success, to train that army to go up against Al-Qaeda. My project looks at what happened in the immediate aftermath of the Arab Spring when Tuareg mercenaries in Libya looted the arsenals of the murdered Libyan dictator of Muammar al-Qaddafi and joined up with al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb to take over Timbuktu and the rest of the north. I document the jihadist rule that took hold in Timbuktu and the efforts of my heroes, Hydra and Ansar, to rescue the manuscripts and Mali's musical traditions from the hands of the extremists. And finally, I take a very scary journey to the northeastern town of Kidal, where the United Nations and the French are struggling to subdue the last extremists in the country.